How's it going everybody? RC Journey here. Thanks for joining me. Now today we have a new unboxing video. This is a 1 to 16 scale WPL C34 KM. And we do have a lot to cover and talk about. I'm wanting to see what goodies are in here. So let's get started. Okay you guys, there's a lot going on with this. This is definitely a little bit more challenging kit. Um, right off the bat, let's start off with the body. You can kind of get an idea. Goes in stages. And I will do a build video, but I probably will already have the body built. So that way I'm not wasting any of your guys' time. But there's a lot going on. You can see a lot of their stuff has their WPL name on it. Which is nice. It's the inside of the door interior or door panel. It's the brace. A little WPL across that. And this is a bigger steering servo. So that's nice. Love upgrades, even when they're not really needed. This is the interior. It's where the seats can slide forward and back. So it's kind of like a puzzle piece. That's why I figured I'll already have the body set up for you guys so we can just build a little bit more of a challenging part, which is another thing I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. It's hard to see, but you got little messages here do observe carefully yay the body is done so that's kind of cool the gearbox is the easiest part I noticed that and kind of gave me a little chuckle you guys can see the plastic tree here The windshield wipers and back bumper. And little brake pedal, gas pedal. I'm not sure about this battery size. It's looking like it just wants to hold the standard WPL battery. See if I have one. So, but I want to run the thousand milliamp seventy C. Two S. So we'll see. It's it's pretty flat. The hood should still shut. Okay, moving forward with all the plastics. So this is the rear, if you guys can see. And those just snap in. With the WPL on the back as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure every piece has WPL stamped in it. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud about these little vehicles as well. I might do a uh, RTR C34 FJ for my 2000 subscriber giveaway. Speaking of, I noticed that 98% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So go ahead and do me a favor and click that subscribe button right now. Would help me out a lot. We'll also have links to the metal kit version, the RTR version, and just the regular kit version in the description of the video. And I do like that they added the little silver touch for appearance. It's a bag of goodies. Looks like some front LEDs. Power wire, 
Still don't see a resistor. There's that bigger servo. Let's put it up to a smaller one. So you can see it's it's bigger, so that's nice. So some grease, some Loctite, some tools, a really huge servo horn. I might not use it because it's pretty big. Alright, moving forward we have the front grill along with the little WPLC emblem. This looks like panels and side marker lights. the front door looks like all the windows a little package of windows I can definitely tell a difference between buying a kit last year and this year it's better packaged you get better parts they paid a lot more attention to getting the item to you without missing rearview mirrors, steering wheels, anything like that. So next in the kit box you have the metal weights, which was nice because I thought there would only be two, but they give you enough for all four tires. So I will definitely be running them with and then without. Because it's more, it's a pretty big body, so it's definitely more of a 1 to 12th scale body on a 16th scale chassis. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it might be a little top-heavy. Here's the bag of hardware. Got your springs. The stocks are just the original shocks we've been dealing with, which I guess is okay. It would have been nice to see an upgrade there, but beggars can't be choosers. So, some brass ball ends. Some rod ends. The shock bodies. More hardware. Of course, the chassis is much different. Incredibly happy with that being flat. And I guess this is for different shock positions, which is nice as well. Maybe I'll do a little WPL emblem across there. So I call this the power bag. It's got motor, which I also notice has a WPL stamp across it. If you can see that, and the plastic, which is okay. I'm guessing to a brass one to one gear ratio. There's two gears in the corner. And extremely long drive shafts, CVDs, which is nice, and then the hardware to hook them up in the bottom. So yeah, this kit is amazing. I mean, I, I can't believe we're getting all this for just such little money. I mean, where else can you buy that? You can't. I mean, this is crazy. And full metal axles? Let me dive into this bag. Take a peek. All the flat spots look pretty well machined. That's how we're going to get that 45 degree steering angle. So those look nice as well. Yeah, that's amazing. It's machined perfectly, no gap. So this is an amazing kit, guys. Like I said, link will be in the description for a full metal kit with bearings. And I'm loving every minute of it. And of course the softer tires. So I will be doing a couple build videos, probably try to get it done in two. As I said before, thanks for watching. 2,000 subscribers coming up. Might do a giveaway. We'll see how things go with this MTV Wolverine 180. 
that's going to be free. So thank you guys very much for watching and look forward to this guy on the rocks so I can test its limits.